We begin with developing news tonight. Family members are speaking out as we learn more about the deadly shooting of an 11 year old boy. I'm Don Hasbro and I'm Corey McFerrin. Investigators say somebody shot the boy in the head inside his home. Elizabeth Matthews is live tonight with more Elizabeth. And Corey and Don, police tell us that they have questioned three people in this case. The relationship between those three persons of interest and the child is still unknown tonight. Chicago police telling us they're exploring all motives, including possibly domestic related. I just love my brother so much. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Relatives of 11-year-old Jayshawn Anderson say they can't believe it's happened to them. My brother didn't do nothing to nobody. All my brother do is play ball. That's it. Like, he was so sweet. Like, he loved his brothers and sisters. Chicago police say they arrived at a second-story apartment at the corner of 119th and South Peoria around 1 Monday morning. First responders found the child dead with a gunshot wound to the head. Police are calling it a homicide. Pam Pittman says her nephew had just moved into his father's apartment just a few months ago. We need some answers. You know, anybody would want some answers. You know, my nephew was 11 years old. Are you serious? This is like heartbreaking. Anderson had five siblings. This video with older sister Deonce was taken just a few days ago. Family tells us his best friend was his eight-year-old little sister, Jada. Anderson loved playing basketball and was a fifth grader at Harold Washington Elementary School. Now the family just wants justice. I really want them to figure out what happened to my little brother like they would do with any other any other child. No charges have been filed in this investigation. The family was told they may have more answers tomorrow. Guys, back to you in the studio. All right, Elizabeth, thank you.